Hello and welcome to Film Companion South. You're watching Not At All Review. My name is Hriday Ranjan. This week's movie is Gang Leader, directed by Vikram Kumar, starring Nani, Kartikeya and Lakshmi. Nani plays a novelist who watches DVDs of Hollywood blockbusters and passes off those stories as his own revenge novels. <coughs> Ranarangam. When a high-profile robbery takes place because the thief has watched The Dark Knight, five women across all stages of life gang together and they approach Nani to plot their revenge. Now, there are a number of things that the film gets right, right from the beginning. For example, the cinematography by Kuba Brozek keeps things refreshing because he refrains from taking your classic typical shots of Charminar and Hussein Sagar. The editing also by Naveen Nuli keeps the proceedings spacey as he uses the script's strong points to benefit and heighten its best moments. The film also benefits from its casting and it is nice to see that there are five women in the film and they are five characters and not five caricatures as is usually the norm. Sir, audition, heroine. Telugu chamo? Telugu maine sir. I the Punjabi chamo heroine. Nuvu characters che, okay? Ipur nuvu ko chelli. Chella? Yes, idu ko ni lines. Come on. Ane ya pogre. Ipur unde the sir. Come on. Ane ya ha pogre vidal na vende purti naru. Idu ko chimpe sir gora battle. Idu ko chaine valan chimpe. One more variation. Ane ya na peli che seva. Lovely. Now you are a mother. A mother? Yes. I am a mother. I am a mother, I am a mother, I am a mother, I am a mother. Come on, do it. Wow, I am a mother. I am a mother. Oh, lovely. You have a variation. Nana, I am a mother. Why did you leave me? I am a mother. Sorry, mother. It's marvelous. Now, last one. You are a father. A father. A father? Yes. Beauty without brains. Brains are not enough. It's cute without brains. Simple. Mom, I don't want to play a role. This is it. This is it. Let's talk about it. Hey, this is it. I'm going to go. Lovely. Women are interested in this. This is it. The film's dialogues written by Venkat D. Pati sound very fresh and they keep you invested in the characters. The script is also wonderfully self-aware. For example, the hero tells his team that you have to stare at a chart for clues a few minutes before it actually occurs on screen. Also, as a comedy writer, a humor writer, I loved how the comedic set pieces were staged because the premise was clearly established and it was left for the actors like Vanil Kishore or Priyadarshi or Nani himself to play them out without resorting to any gimmickry. The screenplay also throws bread crumbs for you to guess and after a point, it becomes like a cat and mouse game between you and the writer. There are also moments in the film where you're like, ah, that was predictable or that was cringy. But then the screenplay comes back to assuage your fears. At the film's core are its performances. Kartikeya proves that he can be a good actor when he is not humping anything that moves. Lakshmi as the grandmother who is thirsty for revenge is also very good. But finally, the film belongs to Nani whose screen presence keeps you invested in the plot all through. After Jersey, Nani seems to be setting an example that you could be a big star and still choose a script that is not run of the mill. Now, this could be because I personally possess the emotional range of a teaspoon, but the only parts of the film where I thought that the screenplay lagged was in the second half, when the film tries to hit its emotional notes. Like you've heard of Ocean's Eleven, this one is Emotion's Eleven. At the end of the day, Nani's gang leader is witty and refreshing. It keeps you invested and guessing all through its runtime. There is a reason it is called Nani's gang leader because the film gang leader well and truly belongs to Nani. No writer, Pakak Dobbe, Charlie no lema. He put ni rolu alien. Come on, dialogue jepu. Ah 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 ah. Perfect, cut it. Arey Charlie ko coffee, na ko Oscar.